Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to resource. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you have questions about the longevity products, something you may have read or heard about, Ingredients, formulations, if you have a health challenge that you want help dealing with, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want prescription drugs or you know somebody on medications and you want to wean yourself off your meds or help someone else wean themselves off their medications, which I highly recommend. If you're on prescription drug, folks, your number one health challenge is to figure out how to get off of it. If you need help, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head over to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. Also, my blog, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, and they can tell you all about it for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help change lives, just like we do on this program, just like I've been doing with the longevity products with Dr. Wallach's message now for 18 years. You can do it, too, for a one-time $25 fee. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, especially if you've discovered it for yourself. Don't hold on to that information, folks. Be generous with that information. There's a lot of people that don't know what we take for granted. You listening to this program, what you take for granted as just common knowledge, most people still don't know the power of fats, the power of supplementation, the toxicity of prescription drugs. All these ideas we talk about here on this program are still not really well known out there in the world of in the world of uh, the average layperson. I heard Joe Biden on. A uh, news program talking about curing cancer. There's still people who believe that you can cure cancer, that you can be vaccinated against cancer. I heard somebody else talking about how they were surprised that Ben Carson, who's running for president, doesn't know much about economics or foreign policy because he's a doctor. He should be really smart. And this is the kind of ideas people have. He's a neurosurgeon. He's a brain doctor. Of course he's smart because he's a doctor. There's all these crazy ideas about health, about medicine, about healing, about wellness. We clear those up on this program. And if you're not listening to this program, and the vast majority of people aren't, you're not going to have any idea about just the basics, the basic ideas that we talk about on this program. If you're interested in starting a business where you can make money, earn a living, earn residual checks, and help change lives by spreading the word, please call 866-735-2470 and join the Brightside Ben team. All right, we're talking about hormones and fats and the relationship between hormones and fats. As we've, been, uh, as we've been saying, hormones are the messengers that convert the outside world into the inside world, and that especially is around foods. Your three major control points for hormones are the foods you eat and the thoughts you think slash feelings you feel. Those are the major control points for hormones. The thoughts we think, the feelings we feel, 
and the foods we eat. Now, perceptions, how we see the world, that has an effect as well, of course, but all really relates to thinking, thoughts. Every time we think a thought or feel a feeling, a hormone is secreted for better or worse. Crappy thoughts, crappy feelings, crappy hormones. Crappy food, crappy hormones. Good food, good thoughts, good emotions, good feelings. All related to good hormones. And when it comes to diet, there's a critical, critical connection between dietary fat and hormones. The combination of the fact that hormones are so, so critical and the fact that as we age, our hormone secretion slows down has led to this medical idea, this pharmacological idea, that we can be dosed with hormones, like we're dosed with pills, like we're dosed with medicine. Hormones have become medicine. The pharmacomedical model has taken the understanding of hormones and turned it into a, a profit center, a way to make money by dosing us with hormones. Now, it's true that some of us will feel better when, uh, when we're on HRT, hormone replacement therapy, but it's a risky proposition because hormones are the critical juncture between the outside world and the inside world, and once you start playing with them, you never know what you're going to create, including cancers and tumors, and yes, hormone replacement therapy and cancers go hand in hand. That's estrogen and testosterone, the two major hormones that are replaced. I'm talking steroid hormones, not so much with thyroid hormone, which is a, not a fatty hormone. That's a whole different animal, and we'll talk about thyroid hormone here in a little bit. There's an antagonistic relationship between anti-aging hormones and sugar and insulin. More sugar we eat, the higher our insulin, the less anti-aging hormone effects we're going to have. So your real strategy, your best strategy for improving hormone activity as we get older is, surprise, surprise, reduce your intake of sugar and reduce your intake of foods that spike insulin. Resensitize the body to insulin. As we get older and the body stops listening to insulin, that's called insulin resistance. The body also stops listening to growth hormones and, and testosterone and, and building substances. And even worse, the more sugar we eat and the higher our insulin, the greater our estrogen effects, feminizing effects, especially for men. Talked about andropause a couple of days ago, which is the male version of menopause. If you're a guy and you're getting older, you're in your 50s or 60s, and you're starting to get less manly, shall we say, especially around sexual performance, but also muscle building. You find you're not building muscle as well. You find you're uh, dealing with erectile dysfunction or sexual performance or libido issues perhaps. The chances are pretty good you're becoming feminized. And I don't think it's a, co a coincidence that all of our strategies, all of our day-to-day -day strategies around, how the, uh, around the foods that we eat are feminizing. We're being feminized. Men are being domesticated and feminized. And one of the ways you can tell if you're a guy that you're being feminized is if you're, is if you're getting a gut where well, you never had a gut before. Some people are getting guts at earlier, uh, uh, earlier and earlier, you know, in their 20s and 30s, unfortunately. The more body fat you're carrying, the more feminized you are. The fastest way to defeminize yourself, to remasculinize yourself if you're dealing with andropause issues is work with your sugar blood sugar and insulin. Reduce your intake of sugar. Replace the body fat with muscle. Muscle makes male hormone. Fat makes female hormone. There's also a very important relationship between the outside part of a cell, a so-called cell membrane, and how well a hormone works. And that's why, that's one of the reasons why eating fats, or essential fats, I should say, is another wonderful strategy for keeping your anti-aging youth and fertility, building hormones, percolating and pumping along as they should be. The membrane is required, or a healthy membrane is required for hormones to traverse to get into the inside part of a cell to do their work. And that membrane, as we said, is built up of fat, particularly essential fatty acids and cholesterol. Dietary fat is so, so important. And how to use or how to leverage, how to exploit, how to take advantage of dietary fat is so important. It's dietary fats are are a source of energy and they're a part of the structure of the body, part of the structure of cells. They're critical for skin health. And in the case of these essential fats or EFAs or essential fatty acids, they're also key players in the production of cholesterol hormones, the steroid hormones, the fertility hormones. Essential fatty acids are important for the production of these hormones. They're important for the production of our stress management hormones. 
And EFAs are also involved in the production of digestive juices. So that means the more EFAs you're getting and absorbing, the better your digestion is going to be, especially around EFAs. The more you eat, the better you absorb them. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away. Back on the bright side, we have a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Stephen Hewer is going to be talking about his new One World Way, which I've been taking now for three or four months and loving. Stephen is a true friend of of uh, the lay person when it comes to health and wellness, and he knows a lot of good stuff about health and wellness, not just about protein. Stephen and I have been talking now for a couple of years anyway. And I've never, never uh, not been impressed after a conversation with Stephen Ewer about his no- knowledge about protein, knowledge about nutrition, and his good heart, his kindness, and his goodness. And he's become a friend uh, as well as a, a resource when it, comes to, uh, when it comes to whey protein. We'll talk about One World Whey. That'll be the bottom of the hour. Tomorrow we're going to talk to Dr. Elena George about her book, Big Medicine. The cost of corporate control and how doctors and patients working together can rebuild a better system. Dr. George is a is an MD, board certified otolaryngologist, laryngologist, I think you say it, he, a ear, nose, and throat specialist, and she's got a really interesting take on corporate medicine, big medicine, as she says. And if you've listened to this program, you know that I've got a. Uh, I have a t- my own personal take on corporate medicine and big medicine and the, the scammery that it represents. You know, when you go to Kaiser and you go to your uh, HMO, Humana, or whatever your HMO is, and you go to the doctor, you know, we're under the illusion that somehow the doctor is there for us, that somehow the doctor is working for us. But guess what? When you go to Kaiser and you uh, go to your doctor, your friendly doctor, Kaiser physician, he's not working for you. He's working for Kaiser. He's doing Kaiser's bidding. That's what HMOs are. They're, they're doctor companies. Uh, we call them in the business, we call them doc in a box. They're little doctors that work for the, the just like hamburgers being sold for, from McDonald's, they're selling you protocols and diagnostics and tests and, and prescription drugs and making money off of all of it and cost cutting off of all of it. When they, when they dispense a prescription drug to you at Kaiser, they're going from a formulary, from a menu. Not, they're not giving you a prescription drug based on what you need. They're ba- giving you a prescription drug based on profit margin, what's effective for them to sell. It's a hideous, hideous, hideous thing to do to humanity, this corporate medicine, big medicine that's been entrenched by Obamacare. And if you're one of those people that thinks it's great to have Obamacare, and I know there's a lot of folks who think it's wonderful to have Obamacare, guess what? You're suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. That's where we love uh, Stockholm Syndrome is when somebody gets kidnapped and they fall in love with their kidnappers. Well, we got Stockholm Syndrome around the federal government. We got Stockholm Syndrome around our doctors and the medical model. We got Stockholm Syndrome around big medicine. We love our masters. We love our kidnappers. We love our abusers. Anyway, we'll talk to Elena George, Dr. Elena George, about that tomorrow. Stephen, you're at the bottom of the hour. And you and your phone calls right now. We'll continue talking about hormone health. Tomorrow we'll talk about the different kinds of fats, try to clear up some of the confusion around fats. And then we'll talk about an awesome, awesome, awesome vitamin that you absolutely better be taking if you start to dose with higher doses or, or higher amounts of your essential fatty acids. We'll talk about that tomorrow on The Bright Side. All right, let's go to... Uh, Let's go to Sheila in Massachusetts. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Sheila? Hi. Um, Yes, I just uh, went to a doctor and um, had some had had an ultrasound done, and they recommended that I have either a hysterectomy or uh, a DNC. Anyway, I found why did they recommend that? A thickening of the uterine wall. Okay, so in other words, we'll just take the whole thing out, and then you don't have to worry about it. Right, right. So <laughs> okay. I found a doctor. Uh, a Good thing you didn't have a headache, by the way, Sheila, because if you oh, went there, I... you might you might leave without your head. <laughs> I hear you. Um, uh, yeah, I was very troubled by it. And um, anyway, I found a doctor that did bioidenticals, which I thought, well, you know what, I think that's better than just, you know, going into surgery. And he has studied it. Um, and he prescribed three medications for me. Estrone, and estradiol, and estriol. Estradiol, progesterone, and armor thyroid. Oh, really? So he didn't even give you the, the, bioideni- the uh, bioidentical triast. It's uh, armor thyroid topical? No. Or no. Arm. Pills. Like pills. Yeah. Okay. Um, Did he recommend the progesterone and the estrogen as creams? 
No. Orally. And that, yeah, and that was, I had been on hormone uh, it, bioidenticals, and I had a compounding pharmacy several yeah. years ago. But the estrogen.